Hello friends, this is Vijay Saradi. Uh, I am the director of uh, Civil Services Academy, which uh, offers coaching for uh, civil services, IAS, IPS, IRS, etc. And uh, we are also giving coaching for uh, groups exam conducted by Andhra Pradesh and Telangana Public Service Commissions. So, some idea about uh, civil services exam. We should before plunging into this exam, we should have some basic idea of this exam because this was earlier during the British times. It was called as a heaven bond service. So, a heaven bond service in the sense it, it used to contain all the uh, the luxuries, the, the it's, well, it's like a Raja Maharaja kind of a service. So, after the British have left uh, India, the indispensability, rather the dependability of these services were uh, felt by our leaders. And uh, though there were initially, they said these uh, IAS and IPS, which formed the backbone of the administration of the country, they wanted to discontinue, but still they, they, I mean, uh, they have reposed their faith in that. And, it, uh, and that they were proved correct in the long run because these uh, services have uh, gone a long way in serving the country and uh, meeting its needs, ever-growing ever -growing demands of uh, this ever-growing population and it's, uh, the multicultural society of India. So, a person choosing to be become a civil servant should first of all understand that this exam is a, uh, the, one of the toughest exams in the world and it requires at least one year of dedicated preparation. Ideally, one should start the preparation uh, during the graduation level. So, uh, when the personality of the candidate also starts uh, improving and uh, they take a world view which is slowly they form a world view on their own the personality and uh, they should also keep a tab on the current affairs which is which are happening around the world and india so all this should be forming the basic core of the uh, preparation strategy the newspapers magazines etc and uh, ideally they should be also be joining if at all they want to join a coaching center they can do so from the degree first year itself so that whatever the, the, they learn, it is since it is a lear, long learning uh, curve, the the mistakes they might commit also may come down, and in the ultimate analysis, once they uh, come to the age of 21 and 22 years, they are ready to take this exam instead of waiting for the degree to be completed, and then taking the exam, then taking coaching, they might uh, waste three or four years and attempts as well. So, and why this, uh, these, career, these services are still a uh, great attraction among the youth of the country because they offer excellent opportunities to serve the, the uh, common man, the masses and uh, they can become change agents, positive change agents in the country. They can bring about a lot of development and by involving completely in the government sector. They have uh, the advantage, the double advantage is that the government machinery apparatus is there with them. And uh, it also gives a high social esteem and social position and uh, a well, uh, uh, what you call secure position, secure career option. And uh, they can, one, if, a, if a person becomes a civil servant at a younger age, one can even go to the level of cabinet secretary. After uh, serving in uh, top positions, they can even be appointed as uh, ambassadors, governors, etc. So these career, these uh, services are absolutely, can say without doubt, the top positions and number one positions in the country as far as uh, the governance is concerned.